everybody, I'm El Bristow and you're watching Elotopia Gaming and welcome to this first play episode of Soul Zero. Now I would normally tell you the name of the development company that are producing the game when I do a, a first play episode, but on this particular occasion this is the first game developed by a particular individual who I only know as Hovit from Reddit. So um, I've not been given a, a development company name or anything along those lines. So, however, you can check out this game at soulzerogame.com. So feel free to head over there and uh, check this out. Hovit has been kind enough to provide me with this alpha version for me to go through with you guys here at Elotopia Gaming. He has recommended that we start with the tutorial missions, which we are going to do. Now, Soul Zero is a RTS Mars colonization game, which uh, is the kind of thing that I really like. I love uh, anything to do with space, anything to do with future and sci-fi, so uh, I'm really looking forward to giving this a try. Now, bear in mind this is an early alpha of this game, so it may not be complete, some of the features may not be uh, quite as polished as you might expect in a final game but this is the first time that I've played this game so you are playing through this for the first time with me so let's have a look at the astronaut training tutorial okay land a rocket in the area designated by the blue arrow if the landing zone is red an obstacle is in the way if the zone is green the landing may be performed okay so this is simple enough I presume we just click there we go and there is a lander looking good select a lander to deploy an astronaut oh okay right one astronaut select the astronaut and right click on the lander to pick up a box Click the build button and build a pallet in the area designated by the blue arrow. A pallet, okay. Uh, one of those. Okay, and our astronaut is heading to place the pallet. There we go. Continue unloading supplies until the pallet is full using either the astronaut or the forklift. Right, so this is our astronaut. So we go back and pick up. There we go, right. And put him back in there. Okay, uh, I presume this is the forklift. Is this any faster? Mm, not particularly, but uh, saves our astronauts' legs. Oh, is that? Oh, it's carrying loads more though. So that. Oh yeah, that's much better. Okay, using the astronaut, pick up a box from the pallet. On the build menu, select a solar panel and place it here. The solar panel requires two supplies to construct. Okay, so we have to go and collect another one. Now that there's power, build a straight hallway in the area indicated by the blue arrow. When placing the hallway, press tab to rotate the hallway so that the black arrow faces left. Right, okay, so we don't have a build button unless we're carrying materials. So let's go and get some materials. And build a straight hallway and when placing the hallway press tab okay to rotate so the black arrow faces left that's left then build a habitat next to the hallway okay okay build where's a habitat habitat there we go there we go. Mr. F get out of the way. You put those down, please. No, not pick them up. Put them down. There we go. Right. Is there any more in there? Base, do you read me? Does this tell me... Oh, yeah. This tells me how many supplies I need for construction. Copy. I... Oh, there we go. I couldn't select the forklift then. up some more supplies supplies okay so there's a habitat the habitat needs oxygen to function build an oxygen generator below the hallway by pressing tab until the black arrow points up 
Oh, okay, so we can actually build underneath things. Uh, oxygen generator. Oh no, not beneath, I see, right, so there is what it means, okay. So the black arrow, then click on the hallway and open the left door. I suppose we need to finish building it first. I assume that's what that means, opening the left door. How many does this need? Two, okay. I do foresee that the speed the astronaut is walking could possibly get a little bit irritating. Uh, right, open the door. Oxygen level, oh look at that, eight, nine percent, ten percent. Lovely, and it's gone, they've got a green light on there. Oxygen is, we are generating oxygen, wonderful. Now, deploy the rover, press the explore button. Explore button? I don't have an explore button. Oh, deploy the rover, okay, so that'll be from here. There we go. Explore button, and navigate the rover to the blue arrow. Press the button on the corner of the minimap to turn on resource mode. Corner of the minimap. Aha, okay, I see. Once the rover discovers water, build a water cryo tank. Right, you, I'm assuming you probably need to get out of the way then. And we'll go and get some more supplies. Let's turn that off, can we? Yep, good. Pick up the supplies. Build a cryo tank water. Any particular direction? No. Go build it. I wonder. That requires two supplies. Can we deliver supplies with the forklift? We can. Astronaut training complete. Click finish to return to the main menu and launch a Mars mission. Oh, well. There we go, so the tutorials are pretty straightforward. I keep looking up there, because my camera used to be up there and I've moved it down here. <laughs> Hi! Um, so, what we've got, Gusev Crater and Arcia Mons. Um, I like the sound of the Gusev Crater, so... I see, okay. So we've got Gusev Crater, and diff so this is different places on Mars. Oh, and we've got scroll bar, so we can go to Cydonia, Meridiani Planum, Solis Lacus. Planumborium in the poles, Hellas Planitia, landing, landing eclipse generator. Oh, landing ellipse generator. Right, I see. So is that so we can build our own? I, I presume. And then this is locked. Whatever this is, maybe we'll unlock that later. So let's go for Cydonia. I like the sound of Cydonia. I don't. I don't believe these have any. I don't know difficulty to them or anything. I don't know. But I like Cydonia, so we're going to go to Cydonia. New. Okay, so now we are launching a rocket. The colonization of Mars has begun. A launch window will occur every 120 souls. Bring enough food, water, and supplies to survive. Okay, so we are going to need... What have we got here? Total weight 6,000 kilograms. Max allowable weight 7,000 kilograms. So that's good. Uh, we're going to need a small rover, which is 200 kilograms. We're going to need at least one astronaut, I would presume. Uh, the forklift is pretty heavy, so that's probably not great to take. Uh, methane extractor. I don't know whether we need one of those or not. Doesn't look like... Oh, yeah, we can't take any of these. I believe how this works is you start with your initial rocket, and then later on you unlock further rockets that you can use to send more things up to your Mars colonies. Um, so we'll stick with the rover and the astronaut for now and we will take... how much food can we take? Oh, we can take 400 kilograms of food. Ah, right, okay. So we can't take a lot of anything else if we do that. So how about... Mm, I don't know, 10 crates See, water's going to be quite important. Food's going to be quite important, isn't it? Nine crates. Eight crates. 
seven crates. Hmm, okay. So, there's very much a, a balancing act here to um, to make sure that you can take enough things. I don't see. I don't know if these are going to be enough. Um, what did we need? We needed three supplies for the habitat. We needed one for that tube thing, two for the oxygen generator. So it's three four, five, six, we needed two for the solar panel, so that's eight. Right, and that's just going to be a very basic colony, so we need at least eight crates. So we are going to have to, hopefully we'll find water, so... Oh, the water generator would have been more crates though, wouldn't it? Hmm... Okay, this is good. This is good. I like this. This is this is uh, this is a challenge. We've got to take just enough food for food and water for for our astronaut, um, but we also need to take enough supplies and things for us to actually do anything. So we definitely need three supplies for the habitat, one for the tube. Two for the oxygen generator, two for the solar panel. I don't remember how many it was for the water extractor thingy. Was it two or three? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that would be eleven. Wow. Eleven crates. Which means we really can't take much of anything else. We can't leave the rover behind. We're not taking anything excessive. Let's go with eight crates. We'll boost the amount of water. That's as much as we can take. Well, let's see how long this lasts us. It may be that we're taking far too much because I don't know. I mean, 100 litres doesn't sound like a lot, really. Um, we can send a resupply rocket in 120 sols, which I presume is days... I don't know whether that's going to be Earth Days or whatever. Um, I'm assuming, assuming we'll find that out eventually. But uh, there we go. So let's launch this rocket and see where how we get on. This is the uh, the launch sequence. No sound on that. That's a shame. I seem to remember there being sound on the uh, demo video thing that I saw. Okay, right, so we need to if we zoom out, we can look around. We need to pick a landing spot somewhere flat, I'm presuming. Um, oh, with no rocks or anything. Right, okay. So let's place our lander in this little kind of inlet bit between these two craters here. And there it is. So, we can see here our supplies, 120 kilograms of food, 100 litres of water. We are going to deploy our astronaut guy, get him to pick up some parts, and we will build a solar panel is going to be the first thing we need. Let's build it like that, and we will deploy this guy, explore, uh, I don't know where we want him to go though. Oh, he's a bit done with his pathfinding. Can we... I seem to recall... Oh, Rover has discovered clay. Good. There is some way to queue up... Yeah, here we go. Where you want him to explore. We'll run him around here. Discovered ore. What kind of ore? I'll bring him back here at the end. There we go. Off you go, Rover. Have a look around. Oh, tiny bits of stuff here. Okay. So, uh, we... Oh, oh my goodness. We've eaten most of our food already. Right, this guy's not going to last very long out here. 
Okay, well, we'll get the solar panel built. We will get uh, some more bits and pieces. And build. We're going to definitely need a habitat. Oh, we can't build the habitat first. Okay, escape to cancel. We're going to build the hallway first. We'll have a four-way hallway. Um, and we'll put it here. Perhaps we should have sent a forklift. <laughs> Instead of an astronaut. Now we need to build the habitat. Except our rover guy. Come out of the way. Where's your route? I've just broken your route, haven't I? Okay. Have a look around here. Hopefully you will find some water. What have you discovered there? What's red? Oh, that is ore. Oh. Okay, there must be a limit to how many points you can have. There we go. Um, oh dear. Uh, okay, I'm not very good at man management here. This guy is probably going to die off here. Oh, yes. Our astronauts starve to death. There are insuff insufficient food to support the colony. Build a greenhouse or bring additional food resources on the next launch. How much does it cost? Oh, I can't see how much it costs to build a greenhouse. What's this next? Oh, okay. Um, right, so I'm guessing we need to go back. Can we go back and... What do these do? No. Menu. Okay, save and click. Can we go back and launch another another rocket here? Sidonia. Resume. Is that just going to take me back there? Right, okay, so we're, we're back on Mars. Perhaps we need to just speed things up. Zero years, 98 days. Oh, and we can do another rocket at 120 days, right. So we need to get to that point. And I'm hoping we will then have something pop up to say you can send a new rocket. Here we go, right. New launch available. Click the red launch button. That one. Okay. So, what we need to do, I'm thinking, we've sent our rover now, so we don't need to send another rover. We can send another astronaut, but he's all, he's still going to need food. So I wonder if we can just send a forklift and then a load of supplies and use the forklift to build our base. See, a forklift doesn't need food. We could send some food. But the forklift doesn't need it, so... What does that leave me? I've got 40 kilograms, so I can't send anything else if I send six crates of supplies, but I could send some food just so that there is some up there. Uh, all right, Sidonia, population zero of two. We can support two, apparently. There's no food. There's 40 litres of water. What did we take? We took 100 litres, didn't we, I think? So he drank 60 litres of water in however long he was there. We're generating five kilowatts, kilowatt hours of power. 
So, interesting. So we're going to launch this rocket now, second rocket on its way to Mars. Oh, and we've got sound this time. Don't know why we didn't have sound before. Off it goes. Okay, so now we have to place this lander somewhere. We'll try and place it as close as we can to these. I'll tell you what, we'll, yeah, we'll just place it down here. We'll tab it around. There we go. So, this one just has the forklift. So we can use the forklift to extract the supplies and finish building. This guy's exploring. Has he finished? Or did he just stop because we went somewhere else? That's quite possible. So, root here, here, here. Here. I want you to find water. I don't know where there might be. Oh, that. Oh, I see he's hitting rocks. We can't. Right, we have to be very careful about where we send this guy. Oh! Micrometeorite shower. Oh, typical. It hit my solar panel. Right, okay. Well, we finished building the habitat. So we're now going to need to build... Oh, we can automate him. That's pretty cool. Ah, but we can't. <laughs> we can't start a new building. So we definitely do need an astronaut up here. Right. Okay, yeah, we read that. Go away. Um, so I can automate him. Yeah, I need to build additional... I know I need to build additional solar panels. I need additional people in order to do that. So, <laughs> we are going to have to zip forward... Yeah, okay. Until we can launch another rocket. So, my top tip for this one, when you're starting a new colony, make sure you take plenty of food. Don't worry too much about the rover at first. Just get your colony built. And uh, then, I don't know, send a rover later, I guess. Just make sure you take enough food and water to support your astronaut. And just hope that you, I don't know. Yeah, not enough power. I, I get it, I get it. Um, yeah, so it's, it's very tricky. The, the resource management is very tricky. Food supply spoiled. Well, that's not good. Okay, so we're just coming up to 241 days. We'll go back to one times and we'll hit launch so that we can launch ourselves our third lander to the Cydonia colony. Now, we definitely do need an astronaut and he definitely does need food and plenty of water. So I'm just going to max these out. Leaving us with 100 kilograms of weight. Which means we could, in theory, take two astronauts. We've got the forklift and the rover up there now. And we have supplies up there. How much do supplies weigh? 60. So we can take one more crate of supplies with us as well. But the important thing here is our astronaut and our water. So we're going to launch that and hopefully now we can get something built so that we can actually sustain our colony. Hopefully we have enough supplies now. And with our forklift on automate mode, hopefully that will transport all our supplies around so that our astronaut doesn't have to walk around doing it. He can just, you know, kind of say where to build everything. So here we are. Now we need to pick another location. We're slowly filling this place up with lander pods. There we go. So, we'll deploy our astronaut. He can take Oh, he's talking now. 
Uh, we need to build a solar panel pretty quick, so we'll build that there. And hopefully our forklift... There we go. <laughs> we'll sort that out for us. Let's go and get some more supplies from here. Are there any there? Must have, oh, we've got three supplies over there. Okay, we'll get them from over there. Where are you going? Going the long way around. Okay. Um, so we need an oxygen generator. Which will go... No? Oh, wait, does it have to go on a single? Okay. So let's build a straight hallway in that case. We're munching through the food really quickly. And quickly go and get another one for the oxygen generator. How much is he carrying? Six. Or is that capacity? Capacity six, so I don't know how much he's carrying. Build, whoops. Build, oh, another meteorite shower is imminent. Oh, you're kidding me. Well, that was that was great. Was that it? Just two two little meteorites and and that's done now. <laughs> right. So we've got our oxygen generator. We can open. Oh, I see. Right, air leak. Right. So that's feeding of the oxygen into there, good. He's got another box now, so we need to build a, we can't build a farm, so a greenhouse on here. He's got the supplies for that. And there we go, we have a greenhouse. And our food supply is now stable, fantastic. Where is our rover? Did he find any water? Certainly doesn't look that way. Um, where is there going to be water? Right. Has that got... How do we supply that with oxygen? Do we do that? Does it need oxygen? I don't know. Not enough power, okay. So, uh, I don't think we've got any supplies left. He certainly doesn't have anything. He doesn't have anything. He doesn't have anything. Um, right, so we're out of supplies. Can you go in there? Can we rotate the camera around at all? No, it doesn't look like it. Copy. Command. Not of interest. Can I put... If I close that door... No. Open... Reopen that door. Copy. Water lost due to frozen pipes. Can he go in? Copy. No. Okay, so I don't know how we put our astronaut in the colony. Perhaps that comes later. We're losing water. We haven't got enough power. Oh, he wasn't on explore mode. Okay. That was silly. No wonder he wasn't finding anything. Rover discovered ice. That could be a good source of water. Um, there's not enough power to support the colony. Yes, I know that. 
Um, so we're going to need some more supplies. He is stable for the moment, but he's going to be drinking through the water. And we don't have enough supplies. So perhaps the, uh, the way to succeed at first is actually to send a rocket with just supplies. Send that, land that, leave it there, and then send your rocket with things to build. We can now launch another rocket, and this one is going to be mostly supplies. Hopefully we shouldn't need too much extra water now that we've found a source of ice. But the supplies are going to be quite important. So let's... Should we send some food? I don't know that we really need to. We'll send some water just in case for some reason we can't extract that ice. Now what is interesting is that the delay between the rocket leaving and the pod landing on Mars is not very much at all. Although I suppose it's kind of a strange time warp effect because if you're launching and landing over there then you'll launch there and land there, you know, whatever. But um, it's a game. So he's coming to get the supplies. I don't want you to automate the supplies for the moment Bobby. because you're going to steal them before I get a chance to build with them. We haven't built a pallet. Right, I need a cryo tank water. And where was the water? Over here. So let's go tab it round and we'll put it there. And he can go... There we go and start building the cryo tank. I don't know how much power each individual thing takes. Perhaps that's on the build menu that I didn't look at. Oh yeah, look, these take power. Yeah, I see. So we need, we also need to build a solar panel, an extra solar panel to give us some more power. Does he, he right, he stops every time we go to set up a new launch. Fire has consumed an oxygen generator. What? Rover has discovered methane. Good. Where? Don't see a marker for methane. Rover is discovered or can't have discovered much of it because it's not being marked. Strange. Copy. Um, right, so you need to now build another oxygen generator and a new habitat. Build oxygen generator, tab that to there, thirteen supplies left, 137, 135 litres of water, so we'll start these all these building and get the forklift on automatic mode, can't build that there now, because of that rock probably. Why can't I build anything where I want to? Keep building things in my own way. Okay. So that can go there. And now we'll set you on automate. And you can finish off these buildings. Good. Oxygen generator is sorted. Put you in there. 
Oh, we need to open the door first. There we go, so that gets oxygen. Rover discovered clay. Not enough power still. Oh, because he hasn't built that yet. There we go. So, we have enough power. We have water. We're increasing water. How do I repair? Repair. And they reduce their effectiveness. That's fair enough. Right. Okay, so I think we're um, we're kind of stable, aren't we? We're generating water. We're generating just enough food. If we add an extra greenhouse, that will mean that we can generate enough food to support another astronaut or perhaps a colonist. So let's start that process. We will build another greenhouse and we will put it... No, I'll tell you what we'll do. Hold on. We will cancel that. We will build another four-way hall here. And open the door to it to give it some oxygen and then we will build another greenhouse. Ideally I would like to move this rock but I don't appear to be able to. This has completed its uh, exploration. What does this mean? This exclamation mark here. Lander has two beds, that has two beds, that has two beds. No idea. Not sure what that means. Hmm, okay. Um, so let's build... Yeah, greenhouse I believe is the only thing that we need to build at this point. Oh, we can do another launch. That rock's annoying, it's right in the way. We'll put this one here then. Um, are you still on automated mode? You are, good. So you can finish building that. And hopefully that will mean that we have enough food to support another astronaut so we can send another one with us. And we're going to need some more supplies. There we go, two kilograms. Yep, we are increasing in food. The population is too low to support the col the population is too low to support the colony. Bring additional colonists or astronauts. Fires, tunnel, de depressurization, food spoiling, and other disasters occur when the population is too low. I see. Okay, so we need to bring a colonist. So let's set up another launch. At which point we will bring a colonist. How do I... Colonists are required to build some of the more advanced laboratories and buildings. The population of the colonies... Right. How do I... I don't appear to be able to bring any colonists with me. So perhaps that's something that I need to unlock. I did notice a science button on the rover. So uh, perhaps we need to use that science button to unlock the technology for those colonists. However, this has been quite a long video so far, so I'm going to leave this here. I'm interested to hear your comments as to what you think about this game. Obviously it's in early alpha, so it may get some uh, some extra spit and polish and perhaps some extra features as the developers uh, take a look at this, developer takes a look at this. Um, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and let me know if you'd like to see me do perhaps a full series on this game or at least a couple of extra episodes so that we can explore maybe the technology tree and how we unlock some of these extra pit parts uh, down here, some of these extra machines and things. I'm cer I certainly would like to take a look at this. If you would like me to do that as a series on my channel then please let me know in the comments below. 
I have been El Bristo, you've been watching Elotopia Gaming, and this has been Soul Zero. Thank you for watching, guys. I will see you next time. See you later.